Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be painting up the Hell Brute from the Chaos Space Marines Combat Patrol box set. Now I've assembled the model up to the point that it gets in the way of painting. Uh, the arms are separate, and legs are separate, and the two shin pads that he has are separate. Um, a few notes, so the way it's built, magnetizing is really not much of an option. Uh, it's like they kind of designed it that way that you're stuck because the parts that connect to the body, the shoulders essentially are a separate part and magnetizing it you'd have to assemble different parts to be able to get all the options. So it didn't really look like it'd be possible. I mean you could sort of try to do it but it wouldn't look that good in the end for some pieces. And so I just went with the basic Thunder Hammer and Melta which is pretty strong so I figured that'd be most generic and most likable. So close combat, short range melee guy, which fits. And so the one thing I will say is though is I fully assembled the main body chest piece, but he, on the back he has a spine, a spinal column that sticks out. Uh, I didn't know it at the time, but I didn't really need to apply it on, so that kind of got in the way of painting. So his spine could be separate. That's the one mistake I made. And of course I primed the whole thing with bright touch general purpose gray car primer. Alright, with Eschen Gray, Dawnstone, and White Scar White, we're going to do the undercoating. With an airbrush, we're going to apply the Eschen Gray from the underside of every piece of the model, and with Dawnstone as the highlight, we're going to apply it pointing down to create the highlight. And then White Scar White dry brush all over to create the edges and stuff. Now, the reason why I chose these colors is because this model is essentially going to be dark, or darker black. And so with Eschen Gray as a dark, and then Dawnstone as not the brightest white, but it is brighter. It'll create a very distinct contrast from White Scar White, so the highlights that I create with White Scar White will be very plainly obvious and more striking. Alright, with Ungor Flesh, Kisla Flesh, Lamin Medium, and Burnt Umber, or Burnt Sienna for the oil paint, we're going to paint the flesh, which is the largest part of the model, surprisingly. So we're going to do a create a wash with Ungor Flesh and Lamin Medium. Basically, one brush of Ungor, two drops of Lamin, one drop of water, and we're going to apply this all over the skin. And then we're going to apply a oil wash of burnt umber all throughout and then once the first layer has been applied and dried well not even fully dried we then wipe off the excess so that it's in the deepest darkest recesses and then we apply a slightly thinner coat again of the oil wash all over and then we do a light wiping on the most raised areas and stuff so there is a bit of a transition to the good color to uh, the recess shading then we go back with the Ungor Flesh with Lamin Medium, and then we just apply it all over on the highlights. And then I mix in sort of a two parts key slip to one part Ungor Flesh, and then I just highlight the most raised areas and muscle tone definition and such and such. However, that kind of didn't work too well. What I should have done was just done pure Kisla Flesh and Lamian Medium and just paint thin lines to create a good contrast and highlight. So basically, it looks like there's only one real color that goes from a dark brown all the way to a light, somewhat yellowish pink. I should have just done the pure Kisla Flesh to do better definition.
Alright, now with Abaddon Black and Lamian Medium, we're going to make the armor. So with the big my big brush worth of Abaddon Black, two drops of Lamian, and... Actually, no, three drops of Lamian and one drop of water, I paint the well, armor pieces. Now, one thing I noticed. Now, I'm going... This is the darkest color I've used, Abaddon Black, instead of, like, the off-putting, like, Eshin Gray or something like that, which is close to black. And so... I found out that when I was painting the thing, if I ever went over something a second time, it, like, kept the color darker. This wasn't a problem with the Eshin Gray. And so, there's some parts where you see, like, the color's completely smooth, and you'll see some parts where it's, like, randomly a patch of, like, even darker. Uh, that's because you have to paint everything just literally once. You have to be very careful with your brush strokes. So that is one of the negatives of Abaddon Black. It's the dark black color but it's really finicky to paint correctly, so Eshin Gray was way more forgiving. Alright, with Liquitex Gloss Varnish, Dura Aluminum from the Vallejo Metal Color, because it's a very bright silver. And then with Transparent Burnt Sienna and Carbon Black Liquitex Inks, we're going to do the metals. So I tried a ratio of three drops of the metal color, three drops of the gloss varnish, and three drops of the Liquitex, and one drop of water from a dropper. And that's the mix I used. And so, uh, Chaos models have this ridiculous amount of like edging, uh, highlighting, armor filigree. Uh, so this is very easy to paint, it just flows right off the brush very easily, so this makes it not as bad of a chore. And I only apply one coat of it. And surprisingly, the metallic shine still shines through, so the metal wasn't that dulled. And then I did a similar ratio of pretty much equal parts, or equal amount of drops, for the dark metal. Right now, this metal, while shows very shiny on camera, is not as shiny, I guess, in real life. That's one thing I noticed, the difference between the real life and the camera here. But... It works well enough, and I basically just use this to paint all the metal pieces and stuff, except for the pistons. The pistons, I wasn't going to do that with. Alright, with Vallejo, these metal colors, Exhaust Manifold and Dura Aluminum. Uh, so essentially what it is is a black metal on the left and a very bright silver on the right. And essentially I paint the pistons. And so he has these pistons all on his legs, his flesh, and his main body attaching to his abdomen. And so the piston is painted in the dark metal and the very bright metal is painted, or the actual piston part that goes in and out. Alright, and now we're going to make an oil wash out of Burnt Umber and Lamp Black. Unfortunately, I put way too much brown in it, and so it was more of a brown wash that was a bit darker with the uh, black. And so with Mineral Spirits mixed in, I then applied this to basically all the armor plates and the metallic filigree, including the metal pieces and stuff. And you can see how brown it is in comparison, so that was a mistake on my part. I didn't show it, but I did do a wipe of the uh, metal pieces, or as best I could without smudging it. And the problem is the metal filigree was so close to the uh, armor plates in some cases that it just, uh, I wiped off the filigree stuff. 
So that didn't work too well. And then I went back uh, with a fine brush and just applied a wash right onto every single bolt or weld or whatever it's called on the armor plates and stuff. Alright, now with Mephiston Red, Evil Sun Scarlet, and Troll Slayer Orange, we're going to be painting these, like, Eye of Horus all throughout, and these little eyes. So with Mephiston Red, we're going to paint it as the base layer. And then with Evil Sun Scarlet watered down a bit, we're going to paint pretty much 90-95% to 95 of each eye. Also note that I'm also painting the eyes of the, uh, Hellbrute himself in his helmet. I don't show it on camera because I have to get really close to his face and I can't actually make, I can't get shots of it because it's such a precise job. And then, uh, then with Troll Slayer Orange with a good amount of water so it's a bit transparent, I apply it to like 50-75% yeah, of the center of each eye. And for applying it into his actual visor eyes, I do like little tiny taps with a very fine brush to get the paint in there. Just tap, tap, tap. I don't paint lines or anything like that, I just like tap on it repeatedly and that transfers the color. And because I didn't notice these until a little bit later, Corn Red and Mephiston Red, they're like these blood drops that are flowing out of his tubes. Yeah. And so with Corn Red, we're going to paint them, and then with Mephiston Red, we're going to paint like the front and back of each drop. Yeah. And now with Abaddon Black, yeah. we're going to do two things. So he has a bunch of like cords, wires, uh, randomly throughout his body. We're going to paint them with Abaddon Black just to mark them. And then we're going to paint these eyes of Horus with a, just a thin stripe in the center. Alright, I didn't show this on the Dark Apostle one, but I'll show this for now. So with Rune Lord Brass, because it's very close to the metal color we created, and Rune Fang Steel, uh, essentially what we're going to do is uh, we're going to mix Rune Fang Steel into the Rune Lord Brass until it's a lighter version of the metals that we have. And we're basically going to paint uh, patchworks, the edging on the filigree and stuff like that, raised areas, uh, or some random parts here and there to pick out the light and the details to make it shine better. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to take Rune Fang Steel and a dry brush, a very tiny one, and we're going to dry brush onto a lot of the metallics. Uh, his feet is a great example, the spine, the exhaust ports on the top of his body, yeah. And this will add an extra layer of shine to the um, metal. Alright, with Steel Legion Drab, Baneblade Brown, and Rakkarth Flesh, we're going to paint these horns that appear throughout uh, his body. Uh, the basic way we're going to paint them is just going to coat them in Steel Legion Drab, then we're going to uh, paint the tip with Baneblade Brown, and then draw lines. A line on the bottom, a line on the side, a line on the top, and a line on the other side. And basically painting an X, essentially, along the horn. And then we're going to paint the very tip with Rackarth Flesh and paint like half of the lines going along the sides, top and bottom, with this. Uh, so the picture had very bright light horns, and so, uh, yeah, I just wanted to follow that. Normally I would have put like some Agrax Earthshade after the Steel Legion Trap, but yeah, this was fine. 
And now with AK Interactive Ultra Matte Varnish, I'm going to apply this to, as best I can, not the metals, the flesh and the armor plates. And now with Liquitex Gloss Varnish, I'm going to apply this to the Eyes of Horus that he has all around and the two blood drops, or three. And then with Skeleton Horde Contras and Gullman Flesh, we're going to dirty up the barrel of the Multi Melta. Because let's be real, they ain't cleaning this. So with Skeleton Horde Contras, we're going to paint like 90% of the barrel. Hit. And then with uh, Gullman Flesh, we're going to paint like 25% of it, the front of the barrel and like the area close to that. I then proceeded to assemble the model, which was a little harder than I thought because <laughs> the way the arms are attached is a little ridiculous. And here's a base I rapidly, well not rapidly, it took me a few days and quite some time to make this up, but I was just getting down the process trying to figure out because I didn't like the bases that I bought for the last model, it just didn't pan out, so I decided to apply my traits differently. And then I glued the model onto there with super glue, and then I drilled a hole through the foot, and then I applied a, well, a, it was a paper clip there, and super glued it there to pin the model into there. And done. I'm doing a little rotations here because sometimes the pictures can't always pick up what the video can. It just looks a little different. So overall, uh, an interesting kit. This is the first time I've painted like flesh like this uh, in mass. So this kit was a good experiment in speed painting, trying to paint everything once, unlike the Dark Apostle, which I had to paint some things twice. And interesting things to learn. Uh, overall, uh, doing everything essentially once to speed paint was it turned out better than I expected but some things are redundant like a lot of the dry brushing at the beginning of the pre-coating with white scar white ultimately did not matter at all um, only on a few armor plates did that actually matter and almost nowhere else so that's gonna be important moving forward for the 15 infantry I have from this box set um, oil washes turned out pretty well, uh, well, overall the armor, armor looks good, so in the Dark Apostle I used Eschen Grey, I think, and this one I used Abaddon Black, so it is noticeable how different it is. Mmm, yeah. Uh, probably only regrets is the flesh is too yellowish, I probably would have, uh, done a bit more like that pure Kisla flesh to create better highlights, make it a bit more pinker on the end, uh, but overall... Everything turned out pretty good, uh, pretty easy, a very simple, fast paint job. Uh, yeah, it turned out better than I expected with how little effort I put in, essentially. Yeah, and so, yeah, yeah that, that turned out pretty well. Uh, the detail's nice, the effort is essentially low, there's not that much to do work-wise. Um, maybe some things could have been done a bit better, maybe. Uh, assembly, definitely. I kind of screwed up on building parts of him. It's just like, it, it, I just couldn't figure out how to get it right. After all, this is joyful painting, not joyful building. Uh, now, overall, as a model, it's pretty cool. Uh, the colors look a little overall dull, but that's kind of like the speed painting wash thing that I have going on if I'm not going to do much highlights. I did some highlights with the metal and stuff, but not much more than that. Um, overall, 
model turned out pretty good. I'm gonna say an eight out of 10. I just barely, because uh, of how overall things turned out was pretty good, but eh, so-so. All right then. So like the video if you like the video, comment if you want to comment, share it if you want to share it, or say anything you like, dislike it if you dislike it, and I'll be back with more soon. Maybe.